Now, Frank, this Brewers team, they're a playoff contending team. Last year they were close. Is this year's Brewer team a World Series contending team? They're still a contender. I mean, they're, 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 <laughs> but their not. offense is intact. You know, just like last year, they've grown, that clubhouse has grown. The pitching is not the same. We, we, we expected the pitching to be the same as it was last year. Arm after arm after arm coming out of that bullpen. It's not that way this year, but they're getting healthy. And uh, they're going to be a team that's probably going to be in, this, in the mix for this team the entire season. They're going to go head-to-head with the clubs all year long. Uh, yeah, Frank, I, I, agree, I agree with the, the offense. And Brandon Woodruff tonight looked right. the part. And, and why I say that is we saw him in the bullpen last year. This year as a starter, that's a guy moving forward that is very interesting for Craig Council. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, World Series, if they got to get through the Dodgers and Cubs, I don't think they're in that in that category. But that's Just why an I, experienced I, team. Yeah. You know, they came together last year and gave the Dodgers all they could handle. I think this year they're, they're on a mission. They're right there with the Cubs, tied with the division, or maybe half game up at this point. Bottom line is they're going to be there because they believe in what they have in that clubhouse. All right, and so will Houston. And Verlander, when you think yeah. big picture, right, they want to get back to the World Series. He's probably the one guy. He's the difference maker when you think about an ace matching up against all the other contending teams. Would you agree? Yeah, the way he's I going totally to agree with you. And the reason why I say that is you look at the matchups, even in the American League, and Justin Verlander matches up with anybody. I think the closest one is probably Chris Sale, that matchup in the American League. The National League, he, it doesn't matter. The, the, Justin Verlander knows the biggest moment he understands he can take it up a notch and that's the reason why you start looking at Justin Verlander in the Houston Astros as being the difference maker he's five and one in his last seven starts just over a T2 ERA and all the injuries came that's when he steps up because he knows he has to do it yeah quirky stat the Verlander the first pitcher ever with 15 strikeouts and three home runs allowed in the same game kind of an unusual thing for a guy who's been so outstanding a Hall of Fame career we'll watch this game throughout the hour here live well first let's go back because if there's a history here and mm -hmm. I think Arenado Nolan Arenado was making it clear I mean Bryant with Rocky pitching he's been hit more than a pinata at a, at a five-year-old birthday party here oh <laughs> uh, yeah and, and this goes back a few years even to 2017 and has continued. Yeah, you saw that second one off the helmet, and then you start seeing what's continued from the perspective of the Rockies facing a Chris All Bryant. Right. So, uh, Frank, well, I'll start with both of you guys, but Frank, mm -hmm. was, was Hamels out of line, though, with the way that he hit? Not at all. you got to no? protect your players. He said Especially he when you're in a pennant race. Protect. Well, this team, trust me, they've done everything possible to try to get to the next level. They're not going to get one of their players hurt without protecting them. That's... That's just good baseball. I've been in many of these type of little You've bean bar hit. walls. You've I've been, been hit a million answer. times. That's part of the game. You ever get hurt because somebody... I've, I've been out a few games. Yeah. Hit on the elbow. But that's just part of the game. These guys know. They're professionals. Right, listen, this is an everyday sport. So there is effect of how you handle yourself. And I, I tell you what, and I think to Frank's point, you have to have the ability to protect the locker room. And if you don't do that as a team... I think it's going to come back and rear its head the other way. Mm -hmm. If you handle it the right, right way, and I think Cole Hamels did, if you handle it the right way, it's magnified. These are two very good teams, but I think the Cubs grew up in that locker room today, and they're going to take it another level. Remember, Craig Kimbrell got signed on. Mm. This is just a fortifying how close they are as a unit, and it, it doesn't make sense to a lot of fans. It does make sense if you have been in that locker room and you yes. understand that element of protecting your own. It really comes down to it because the stars need to be in the game. But if your star is getting hit, Chris Bryant, I'm saying, you have to do something about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, and you both have been in the locker room. Mm -hmm. But I, I do respect the way that Bryant and Arenado, the way that they handled uh, their totally. part of uh, the situation.